Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name's Bob, and in this series of videos, we'll be looking at SAP HANA Vora. In this series of three videos, we'll be looking at connecting SAP Lumera to SAP HANA Vora. Now, in this second video, what we're going to do is look at loading some data. So, within SAP HANA Vora, using a JDBC to JDBC tool called Beeline, we're going to create a table and load some data from HDFS. Lastly, we're going to build a simple analytic on that uh, within SAP Lumera. So what we need to do now is, now that we've actually connected to the SAP Thrift server within SAP Hanovora, we've connected to it, now we might want to load some data into SAP Hanovora. So there's a few ways of doing it. Of course, this is the Thrift Server log, which is showing us that we have connected. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that Thrift Server running and I'm going to duplicate my session. So I'm logging in again to um, SAP Hanovora. I'm going to do a sudo su and an su-vora and I'll do a clear. So what we're going to do in this video is, lo is um, load some soccer or football data. Um, we're going to load that into SAP Hanovora, and of course, we're going to query that in SAP Lumera. So to do this, what I'm going to do is, um, if I do a PWD, we can see we're in the home folder of Vora. Um, if I do an ls-l, you can see these are the other files that we've loaded. We're going to create ourselves a new file. So I'm going to type uh, a VI, and I'm going to create this file. I'm going to call it footyrichlistdata.csv. Basically, it shows us some of the richest soccer clubs. It's going to show us some of the richest soccer or football clubs in the world as of 2015. I'm going to do an I, and I'm going to load um, about five football clubs. So basically, we have things such as revenue, match day revenue, broadcasting rights, merchandise as, as values. Um, and we've got, obviously, the club on the left-hand side. So here you can see we've got seven soccer clubs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to escape, do a colon WQ exclamation mark. And what I'll just do is I'll just um, um, put that into HDFS. So as we know, we put that in, into HDFS with a HDFS DFS command. So I'll execute that now. We use HDFS DFS dash put footy rich list data .csv. This is going to put this file into our HDFS system. How do we know it's there? Well, of course, I can um, firstly do a HDFS DFS and do a dash LS of the user Vora folder. So we should see all the files available to us in HDFS. And then one of them is that footy rich list data file. And of course, what we can also do is output the results. So if I type footy rich list data dot CSV, and I do a dash cat, we'll be able to output that data to the screen. There we go. So, of course, this is one file which we're going to put into SAP HANA Vora. So, we've already started the Thrift server. So, what we can do, of course, we can log in to the SAP Spark, uh, SAP HANA Vora shell. But what we're going to do is we're going to connect with via JDBC. This is really useful because it will show you that I'm connecting to that Thrift server via JDBC using those jar files which we loaded in the previous video. But in reality, technically, you could, should be able to connect with, any, connect with any tool using those same jar files. I've connected with Lumera, but you should be able to connect with any other tool using those same jar files. So what I'm going to do is if I do a clear, we've got that file now in HDFS. What we're going to use is a tool called Beeline. So I'll type Beeline. It's a tool which enables JDBC connectivity to um, a, a variety of Hadoop sources. And one of us, of course, is that Thrift server that we started up in the previous video. So the command to connect is as follows. Uh, you're going to type a uh, exclamation mark connect. Um, then JDBC. We're going to use JDBC connectivity. And then we're going to connect to the Hive 2 server, which is that SAP um, Thrift server, which we started again in the previous video. Again, that is on my master node. Again, if I go back to Hadoop and I go to my hosts, 
I logged into my master host and that is actually this machine here. This is the external machine name. This is the internal machine name. That's where the thrift server has actually been started here in that duplicate session. So what we've done is we've started that server and what we're doing now is we're connecting via JDBC. Remember, as in the first video, there's no login and password for this. So I'm just going to press return twice and we can see that we're in. So if I press the control L, I can um, exit the screen. So again, this is JDBC connectivity using Beeline into that SAP Thrift server. So what we might want to do is look if any tables exist. So I actually just can type the command. I'm going to type a show tables and press return. And at the moment, there are no tables in our thrift server. So of course, what I might want to do is create a table. So I'm going to show you the table I'm going to create. Um, I'll control L again to clear the screen. And this is the table I'm going to create. It's called football rich list table. It's got five columns. It's got the first column is string, which is the soccer club or football club. You've got the revenue the match day revenue, which is how many people go with the games, how much money they make, broadcasting rights and commercial rights. Again, just like using normal SAP HANA Vora, we're using com.sap.spark.vora. The options in that, we're calling the table football rich list table. And the path, we're giving the path to that CSV file in HDFS. So there we can, we can see that we've executed that. So of course, are the tables there? Well, if I do a show tables and press return, we should see that, that we've got that football rich list table now that exists. So this table will persist even if I exit Beeline and go back. The, the issue is, of course, it will it'll be alive as long as this server is alive. So you can see here that it's showing us in the log that we're actually creating that table. We've created that table. So again, while the thrift server is online, uh, the SAP thrift server, the data will persist. I can exit Beeline, I can go back, and the table will still reside. So um, we can see that the table exists. So of course, now that we, we've got that, we might want to go back to the mirror and do a test. So if I go, just go previous and go next, and I drill down now into Spark, what we should see is a table if I ex um, drill down into default, which we've got football rich list table now the thing is the command that you're going to type you would normally type here which would be select star from football rich list the select statement you have to use the same case which is just a normal select statement you have to use that same um, 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 format here in Lumera so I'm going to type a select star from football rich list which is the, this exact syntax no semi quotes no um, sorry um, um, double quotes single quotes or anything like that I'll then do a preview and what we should see in a few seconds is the data return now if I go back to that thrift server we should see that the fifth server is actually working now we connect into that thrift server we can see the various club information here and if I go back then here we got that data so of course now it's just normal Lumera so if I go to create I'm going to create myself a simple report. So I select create. It's always a bit slow the first time. And then we'll get our normal Lumira um, front end. So a, a few things, it's, it's made three measures. I'm not sure why, but I can obviously create another measure here by selecting match day. And I'm going to create this as a measure. So now I've got four measures. And of course, what I'm going to do in this simple example is just build myself a stacked bar chart. And I'm going to select the club. Then I'll select the different measures. Now, revenue, you don't need to include in my data set because this is actually a total of the other three measures. So I'm going to select broadcasting rights, commercial, and match day revenue. So when people actually go to the game. So looking at this chart, you can see here, it's just now normal Lumera. If I obviously rank, we can see at the top, you've got um, Chelsea are at the top. They generate the most revenue um, from looking at this analytic. So again, a quick video on how we can use SAP Lumera to connect to tables created within SAP Hanovora. 
we used Beeline, which is a JDBC tool, a JDBC tool which enables connectivity to SAP Hanovora. We created a table and we exposed that um, data to SAP Lumira. Now, what we're going to do in the next video is look at appending data into SAP Hanovora. So I'm going to show you how to append that data and obviously what happens in SAP Lumira.